Good morning, my beautiful, mature beauties and my friends. Today I'm recording for Sarah an eyebrow tutorial because my eyebrows are pretty thin and gray. And I'm going to use the IT eyebrow pencil. But also, I just wanted to mention the Tarte one's pretty good. And the Laura Mercier is heaven. This one's old as Methuselah, but it's really good too. And so many eyebrow pencils are good from the drugstore. The thin ones, the Maybelline, the little ultra thin tips, they're wonderful, but they crack off instantly and you have to buy a new one over and over again. But for Sarah today, we're going to do the eyebrows. And from my really good friend Peggy, who's been commenting since the very beginning, I'm going to show you the Dior eyeshadows that I'm wearing today. And I'm also wearing the Dior Compact Foundation Powder. And we're not supposed to wear foundation powder. This is really great. I had to wear it today because I've been practicing with the, uh, the Trophy skin microderm abrasion this kit and I had to put some vitamin C on my skin afterwards but this thing's wonderful I mean just wonderful it takes off the dead skin it's disgusting what you can clean underneath here when you're done so it must help a lot and it's been helping me a tiny bit other than going to the doctors and getting Jupiterm which I can't afford to do anyway so this has really been working really pretty good. I mean, I used it this morning again, and I'm going to use it again on air with you. I'm going to continue using it, but I didn't want to put any foundation on my skin afterwards. I just put some vitamin C oil afterwards. And then, the, just so I can make this video, the Dior, Dior foundation. But we're going to do eyebrows. And it's going to be gross, probably. And remember, I always told you this, this eyeliner that I have on is the inner rim. Again, it's any kind of black that's waterproof. And I just go in here and straight up and then bring it into my lashes and try to end it there. But you might want to use dark brown. I've been using black. Sometimes black's a little startling, but we're going to do the eyebrows today. And I don't know what I'm going to we'll use the Dior Compact. And this has two ends on it, the brushes. Which we're going to brush down. So I'll, I already did them. I was sneaky. But I want to show you what I did. ends. I filled in all through here lightly because this is taupe. I don't want to go too dark because I seem to have a resting bee face as it is. And if you make your eyebrows too pointed and too dark, it looks even worse. I have to go in here to fill them in, little short strokes. And they're so gone on the tip but I have to hold my skin up and make upward strokes. And the same here. Hold it up because the skin's bound to determine it's going down. And then I'll brush it with the end all upward like the younger girls do. And then I'll use the NYX glue to make them look bushy, which they're not. See, it makes them look pretty bushy. Helps. And then when you're done, take a hand mirror and go to your front door or your back door 
And go look outside and see if it got blended good enough. See if you had a tail, because sometimes I'll go out there and there's an obvious tail that I did not blend in with my finger. So that was the eyebrow tutorial. Then I put some concealer on and I patted this one underneath the concealer. And today I'm also using the telescopic mascara. And I got a new lipstick that my son got me. It's TLB. But my goodness, was it dark. And it's a permanent lipstick. So I put it on and then blended it out with my finger after I used my Maybelline Toffee Lip Liner. But I had to put the lip gloss on again with it a little bit. And then blot it down. So that it won't come off. Not that I'm kissing anybody. I'm a widow. I don't have anybody but my children. But that's a lot to be grateful for. Okay, so now I'm just going to help Peggy. She's ordering these, bless her heart. This comes, this is the Amber Neutrals. Heavens, I wish I could afford everything Dior, like I said earlier. This comes with the base, which is a cream right here, and you put that on everywhere. All over your eyes. I even go up to my eyebrows because I have to extend my eyeshadow up there because my eyes are deep set, and I don't want to hit that crease like the young girls go in here. I don't want to do that. Oh my goodness. I look like I died or someone beat the heck out of me. I'm going to use this double-ended brush by Lancome again, just to show you what colors show you. Can't speak anymore either. After I put the base on, I put this everywhere. The first one. And then I put this one right next to it. I do everything going up because I have a little bit of a droopy eye right in here. Quite a bit of a droopy eye. And then I take this one and this one this one and this one and put right here next to the eyeliner. And then we're going to do the eyeliner with the pointed edge over top of that black eyeliner that I put in earlier. I'm going to mix, there's a hair on there, this dark one with some of this red that's in style. And I'm going to use that as an eyeliner and then go this way a little bit too, everything up. As you can see, that looks a little messy. And I'm going to use the IT blending brush. I want to stay away from here because I'm sunk in really bad through there. And I'm going all the way up into the eyebrows and all the way out to here. Because I'm going to go over that anyway with a little bit of powder that I had, the Dior powder that's left on the brush. Just so it doesn't look fakey. It's left on the brush, or you can put some more on. And today I used a little bit of the It Bronzer because I look like a ghost. I'll put a little bit of that up here. I have to go up high again. Do not new contouring. This is sunk in. This is really natural looking. It's not fakey looking at all. And we don't want anything fakey looking anymore. The young girls can get off with all the fakey stuff, but we can't seem to pull it off. And I wanted to thank Peggy because she said I had beautiful eyes. And my eyes are brown, actually, with cataracts. These are Desio's. 
They're called Charming Green. I don't know if you can see, but they're green. And I wanted to have green because both my sons got my my husband's eyes, who's passed away. God bless his soul. Missing. But he had beautiful blue green eyes. So I want to look like I match them. I mean, my eyes are actually dark brown. And I just wanted to mention to you, excuse me for a minute, we're going out of frame. My daughter, Christina, surprised me with this 11th Annual Beauty Awards book on one side, and it's got Catherine Zeta Jones on the other side because it's you can flip it on one side. But anyway, they oh, you'd have so much fun reading this, it's so so full of makeup that's wonderful. This is the lipstick I tried right here, and I wanted to mark. Anyway, I don't want to make you hold on for half an hour. Here it is. This L'Oreal Aviv 8 Wonder Water. It's really watery. And that's the reason my hair's bouncy. I wore a fall for years. I don't know if a fall was in style if you're as old as me, but I didn't have any hair. So I started getting hair in my late 50s and 60s. I don't know where it came from. But it stays in good shape thanks to this water. You're supposed to use it as a conditioner in the shower, and I do, and I mix it with the conditioner and then rinse it out. But sometimes when my hair is really, really dead and not shiny at all or bouncy, I just put it in while my hair is wet afterwards. It will come out so shiny and pretty. And tonight I'm going to try to make IGTV a video because my son... I wanted to do an unboxing with you. My son ordered me these boots from Amazon because I stay on Amazon all day long and drive him crazy for stuff. But I don't know if you can see this unboxing, but they're called Daily Shoes. None of this is paid advertising. Good heavens, I wish it was. Nothing. Nothing this... Nobody knows I exist. Not Amazon, not anybody. But look at these boots. They're so pretty. They're a little stinky. That'll go away. And do you know how much they were? Zipper on one side. I'll try to put them on tonight with another pair that my other daughter bought me for $19.99 on Amazon. And then the price went up all of a sudden. Try to put these on IGTV tonight with a nice outfit. Even though I'm not going anywhere. But those were $24.99. Which you can't beat. So my son got me a pair. In case I get to go to the doctors or something this winter. And I just want to tell you, ending this video, that there's a thing that we should always remember. My daughter gave me this makeup. For my birthday there was a lot of makeup in here with this box that says they whispered to her you you can't withstand the storm which we lose a lot of confidence in ourselves when we get older and we just think we're not up to the qualities or the makeup or the looks of the younger people but this says you can't withstand the storm I didn't make this up. It was on the box. And she whispered back, I am the storm. So you remember, when you start doubting yourself and feeling down and out, you are the storm. God bless you and thank you. Please subscribe if you liked anything in this video or I'll try to do some more because I haven't learned how to edit yet, but I'm trying. So please subscribe and leave any comments you want. I'd be glad to answer anything for you or any requests you have. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening and thank you.